you so much. First time here in Nashville and we couldn't be happier because I'm so grateful for what you're doing in terms of helping people around the country, especially students, learn the Constitution. Isn't it frightening though how little the average American really understands about the beauty of our Constitution. Well, they don't, and, and so with, at Constitution America, I launched the foundation in 2010 with Kathy Gillespie, and um, I go into schools. I've spoken in over 400 schools, approximately 400 <laughs> schools, whether it's the suburbia or inner city, wherever it may be, and one of the things I tell the kids is, like, I'm here to empower you. I want you to feel, you know, strong, and, and I say to them, can you just go knock on the door of the White House and have a chat with the president, whether it's a Democrat or Republican? Yeah. They're like, no. I'm like, well, that's why the legislative branch is first in the Constitution. So I teach them why the legislators in their area, how that's important in the legislative branch, to vote in the midterms, all these type of things. But recently we're doing something new, which is we're teaching the kids how to have a, get this, civil, civic conversation. Whoa. Now that's something we don't hear very much. No. <laughs> A civil, civic yeah, conversation. Yes. How do we even get people to do that? Well, you know, my daughter had an interesting experience in high school, Juliet, because most kids thought very differently than she did. And there's this one girl who was always rude to her in the hallway. And one day she walked up to her, they thought differently politically. And she said, you know what, we both love our country. Let's sit down and have a chat. Uh -huh. So she got in the car when I picked her up that afternoon. She goes, mom, you know that girl that's really mean to me at school? And I said, yeah. She goes, well, we talked today and we didn't agree on much. But now we're friends, but we only agreed on 5%. <laughs> so we teach the kids, find the 5% yeah. in, in the other person so that we're not just immediately at odds. So we, we actually go in and say, look, we want you to learn how to have a conversation with someone with whom you radically disagree. Why don't we, we teach them two different perspectives? We give them articles, actual articles uh -huh. to read. You know, I'm a performer. So I get up there and have a lot of fun with the kids, and I love to teach them. Yeah. Um, because, and I love the things that they don't really think about. What's a midterm? You know, uh, 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 legislative branches first, why? Everyone thinks the president's the most important person in the country, and we know that that's not the case. And I think the kids are inspired by the time they leave. I tell them I want them to feel empowered. I yes. think you've uh, brought with you a clip so that we yes. can sort of see what's going on in the school, so if we can take These a look at it. are some of our winners for our contest. Okay. And we said, hey, talk to us about how to have a civil civic conversation. It's really, these are two of our winners. Let's watch them. I used to have a bad habit of I listened to respond and I didn't listen to understand. So now I try to like step outside of myself and like listen. And of course I go into like the overanalyzing, like well, what's their background? Like what they do? You know, like I kind of think like, you know, like, let me try to piece together why they think the way they think because for something that's like logical thinking for me, being from Chicago, you know, on the South Side, may not be the same logical thing, logical way of thinking for someone who grew up on a farm. What I've like learned through having a lot of these conversations with my friends and people who disagree with me is just because you think you're 100% right doesn't mean the other person is necessarily 100% wrong. I wonder, Janine, if maybe we could get those kids to uh, anchor the evening news because they got a better perspective of it than a lot of the people that are trying to tell us what's going on. Isn't that the truth? I love what she says is I, I usually listen to respond yeah. instead of listening to understand. And you know, what is the history of this person's life? And that's what we try to teach the kids. We show this video, which is actually longer, to the kids and say, what did you learn from that? And they love that particular, they love Nicole about, you know, yeah, okay, I do usually just listen to, to respond. And I love what Tova said too, you know, just because no one's 100% right or 100% sure. wrong. We find the 5%. You've got all these civic projects going, but you're also doing a daily podcast, which I think is terrific, called God on the Go Minute. Yes. So tell me about that. Well, you know, I read the Bible every morning and it's my coping skill, okay? Yeah. How to, is I fortify myself for the day. Yeah. And, and then I thought, you know what? I'm, I had a radio show for, for four years yeah. and I thought, why don't I just, you know, you can do it in an iPhone now. I'll just take how I'm applying the scripture that I read today and put it in a minute. It kept me longer than a minute because no one has an attention span <laughs> yeah. longer than a minute. Yeah. So I send out this one minute podcast with a verse, a Bible verse, and then my application of it and how we can get through the day together. How do people sign up to get that? You can sign up for it at JanineTurner.com. Now, one quick thing about the movie project that you've been shooting here in Nashville. I'm so excited because I booked the role of Hilda Hensley, who was, Pat's, or was Patsy Cline's mother. Mm. And it's a Sony Productions for Lifetime Television, Patsy and Loretta. So it's about the friendship between Patsy Cline and Loretta Lynn, and I'm portraying 
Patsy Cline's mom. So wow. I'm real excited about that. Well, we're going to have you back. We're going to talk about that in great detail because that's an exciting project to hear about. I want you to be sure to sign up for Janine Turner's daily God on the Go Minute podcast. It is the perfect inspiration with your morning cup of coffee. And you just go to JanineTurner.com. Be sure to also visit ConstitutingAmerica.org. That's where you're going to find some really great history and wisdom on our Constitution to enjoy personally or to use it in the classroom. All the details at ConstitutingAmerica.org.